Killer whales live in matriarchal societies, and like with humans and elephants, grandmothers help care for the offspring of their daughters. They are on the top of the food chain, and nothing attacks them, not even the largest of sharks. They are, however, constantly facing more and more man-made threats. Like for every other species on Earth, there is no avoiding the rapid spread of humanity since the Industrial Revolution. Pollution poisons their environment, and overfishing depletes their food sources. The southern residents off Washington are a grave reminder of what human activity can do to even the mightiest of animals. This population now faces extinction because of human activity. Some claim it is the fault of marine parks, but that is not true. A total of 32 whales were captured from that population from 1965 to 1973, and seven of these were bought directly by SeaWorld. Such a threatened population should never have been hunted in the first place but it is a fact that the southern residents have been declining steadily since the mid-90s, over two decades after capture stopped. They are now numbering around 80 individuals and infant mortality is extremely high. It is even worse for the Scottish population. Not a single calf has been born since they began being studied in the 1980s, and only eight whales remain. Many have recently been led to believe that killer whales swim 100 miles a day in the wild, as if they do it for fun or exercise. In fact, it is the maximum they are capable of traveling in 24 hours. For comparison, horses, both wild and domestic, can travel 40 miles in one day, Yet we do not consider it cruel to put these animals in pastures where they can run and socialize but not migrate like their feral relatives. Macaws, which are just as wild as whales, can fly 500 miles in one day in search of food, yet we frequently put them in cages only a meter wide, something that whale activists rarely, if ever, criticize. In addition to that, elite athlete humans can run well over 150 miles in one day. Does that mean you feel the need to run great distances every day in order not to get bored? Of course not! Animals, and humans are animals too, will not use energy and move when they don't have to. When given the choice, animals prefer to be lazy, just like us. The whales travel when they have to find food, and resident whales only travel up to 8% of the time. 92% of the time, they do other things. When killer whales swim 100 miles, it is a marathon to them that they are only doing because they have to in order to survive. Captive whales never have to travel because they get their food served right there. Another popular claim, which is completely false, is that marine parks like SeaWorld have their whales work for food. Ironically, the only whales that have to work for food are the ones in the wild.